on Review Board for April 2012. Just a couple of things before we get started. These meetings are televised, so I ask you when you approach the podium, please tell us your name and the business you represent. If you have uh, sketches or plans, just lay them out on the uh, desk next to the podium. And uh, if you have uh, a cell phone or anything, we'd ask you to turn them off at this time. So why don't we get started? We have eight people on the uh, agenda for tonight. Our first application is DRB 2012-24. The application of Garrett Hill Ale House at 157 Garrett Avenue in Rosemont for a projecting sign. Hello there. Hi. Hiya. Uh, nice to see you again. Hi. Yeah. Uh, Tell my, us name who you are. my name is Angie Mitchell. Um, my husband is Gene Mitchell, and we're the ones that went into this venture together. Um, we did get our other sign in the front face of the building uh, that's on Conestoga mm -hmm. approved last month. Um, this time we're going for approval of an, a replacement of an existing um, sign on the corner of Garrett. A oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. You might want to just turn it the other way so they're seeing it at home. Oh. Yeah, all the, you know, the three people who are watching. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they should know about your new business and you tell them about it. Very good. Well, we opened up on uh, March 21st. Um, for our uh, neighborhood opening, and it's it's been a little bit of a challenge kind of getting the neighborhood together and giving an, a new location a chance. Uh, there's been a lot on that corner, so Is there's this where some, the Tandoori place was? The, yes, the kebab started, factory. Right? Yeah. 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 They so uh, found here? another Good. location in Wayne, and uh, mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're currently just leasing the building. Um, he's still owning it. We're just uh, trying if our concept's good enough that we want to try investing more. Great. So. It's a very visible location. Anybody that comes down Conestoga Road, you know it's there. Yeah. Well, we, uh, smart or not, we own the restaurant across the street, Flippin' Bailey's. Mm -hmm. So when this opportunity came up, we wondered why not at least, you know, give it a shot. Could put a new concept in there that's different mm -hmm. that we can't offer. It's our, the other restaurant across the street is two levels. This is one level. It has 66 seats. So it's a different demographic that you can fit in there. You can't do private parties. You can't do bands. You really can't do anything other than dining. So that's strictly what we're focusing on over at the Are you on the, the, it was called the un, purple onion or the yeah. wild onion? Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. That's the that's Flippin' that's yours, Bailey's. Right? Yes. And what's that called now? It's called Flippin' Bailey's. Just a Good. neighborhood pub. We did a family concept with uh, Xboxes and more kid family friendly. Give me a three-minute promo. <laughs> um, but what we're doing here is uh, there was an existing placard that was on the corner, visible from both sides of the Garrett and Robert uh, Roberts Road, sorry, Conestoga and Garrett. Right. And it, it was a metal um, placard, and we just want to replace what was there with the same similar dimensions. Um, ours is a little bit longer, but it's not going to exceed any longer that, we, that was already there. Um, it will be 24 inches from the fixed bracket to the bottom. Um, the very bottom of the sign will be seven and a half feet above uh, cement grade. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be our logo. It's on a one and a half inch thick double-sided carved cedar. We're gonna have it carved right out of cedar and then uh, it will have painted on the pint glass and on the red banner and then sealed with a um, some kind of sealer. Okay. What great. happens to the old sign that was reused by the former, that oval sign, that's gone, right? It's gone. Yes, well, we took I see that down. It superimposed in the lower right. Yes. I, I, when I took this right. picture for the application, I wanted you to be able to see good. that it's not that's any good. larger, yep. but it's currently in the basement. Good. <laughs> that's good. The kebab factory had actually place their name where Brother Spano we, was. We remember. <laughs> and we, we really thought about doing the same thing, but we thought two restaurants have done that. Let's, you know, take it down. Let's Plus you want people it. to know you're new. Like something right. new is coming there. And is your menu different than Flippin' Bailey's? It is different. Mm -hmm. We're doing all carved beef. So we have oh, really? ribs. We have a smoker that we put in. Mm -hmm. um, so there's um, ribs. There's hand-carved turkey, hand-carved pork, um, more kind of beef and ale. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. an all-American theme as well. So all the beers, liquors, wines, it's all from America. So it's a smaller bar selection, mm -hmm. but you know, something different than we think is offered in the area. Sounds good. Works for me. Right. It's just a good. Go ahead. couple things <laughs> pertaining to signage. Yes. <laughs> That's what we're here for. But, uh, I'm more interested. I'm interested in food. But I know you are. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's actually Garrett Hill Zoning District, and there's strict yes. language about 
projecting signs within the Garrett Hill zoning district. So mm -hmm. just a couple of things. Your size is going to be fine. You can't be wider than 36 inches, and it's got to at least be at least 12 inches high, so you're okay there. Um, it's got to be pinned from two inches to six inches off the building. Uh, and the one thing, if you could raise it a little bit, because it's supposed to be at least nine foot from grade, okay. and no higher than 12 foot from grade. So if you can raise it a little bit, I think you said it's going to be seven and a half foot right. from grade. Yeah, so if you can bring it up a little bit. And uh, the sign can't swing. Right. Okay, so it's got to be fixed. Yes, it is up with a stiff bracket. Um, okay, it's got to be secured firmly to the top of the bracket. Okay, great. And uh, the material you're using is great. So, like I said, it's just some of the language in the Garrett Hill Zoning District for okay. projecting signs. So, just wondering what we did when we had the kebab factory because I guess the Spano brothers put that projecting sign right. up. And did we allow, like, was there a reason that it's lower? Well, that'll well, go the back height to the restriction from the bottom of the sign to the pavement. Yeah, I guess that'll really go back to the Spanos. I mean, he just basically yeah. used that same he sign just, and he just put his remember, thing up. Okay. Yeah. So, so I, don't, I guess if you'd have to move the bracket. Yeah, just try yeah. to. The bracket's okay. actually taken down. I'm paying for a whole new bracket. So. Okay. Oh, all right. So you That's, can get it up a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. So what are we saying height wise? The uh, range? It, it's got to be at least Eight and a half? Uh, nine foot oh. off or from grade. Yeah. And no higher than 12 foot. And that's to the bottom of the sign, nine Correct. feet. Yes. Right. Okay. 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 So that's a, a, a foot and a half. Yeah, I'm sure somehow it could be done. Yeah. So, I mean, do the best you can. Yeah. That's right. our standard, seven and a half feet, right? What do we no, mean? no, she mentioned you mean seven. In the Wayne District? It, um, in the Wayne District, Beverly District? It's seven and a half Probably now. Yeah. It's required to be nine. nine. I'm just wondering if you have space. I think we will. I did okay. look at that because if you look at the picture, mm -hmm. when you're sitting at the street level at, a, at the light, mm -hmm. the awning actually blocks the bottom of the sign. So you do want to get it so up a little bit. So we actually thought about raising it a little bit if, if there was good. room. And I did look at that, and there is room to, to raise the bracket. Oh, good. So. Okay. Great. All right, good. What else, Danny? I have no problem with it. Cindy? I have, I have no problem. I think it's great. Okay. Any questions for us? No. You're okay? Okay. In the matter of DRB 2012-25, oh, I'm sorry, dash 24, Garrett Hill Ale House, I move that we accept the proposal and design as submitted with the exception that the sign be raised so the bottom of the sign is nine feet off the ground. Okay. Okay, here's a second. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank Thanks you. very much. Thank Good you. luck to you. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, next on the agenda is DRB 2012-25, the application of Campus Quarter Pizza at 829 East Lancaster Avenue in Villanova for one freestanding sign, uh, six window signs, and I believe also a new um, wall sign. But he's so, not here. No, John's here. Oh, John, yeah, you, want, you want to wait then? He wants to wait for his sign guy. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, John's going to be on hold here for a minute or two until his sign fellow comes. So, so giant? Just giant this food store here? Okay. Giant over. food store? Okay. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. John's, John's down here, 320. Oh, okay. I see where it is. Okay. So next on the agenda is DRB 2012-26, the application of giant food stores at 550 East Lancaster Avenue in Wayne for a wall sign and four freestanding signs. And I think everybody knows this is Gennardi's supermarket mm -hmm. now going to be giant. So welcome, sir. Hello. Hi. Uh, my name is Alan Nathan, representing the contractor, Gable Signs and Graphics. Um, and I'm here to discuss with you the, the changes we want to make to the signage here. Okay, signs. great. If you want to start on the wall sign or the monument signs, it's, uh, it's up to you. It's up to you. Uh, basically, as you're aware, uh, Gennardi's has, has uh, closed their businesses and sold their stores. Giant bought a majority of them, but not all of them. Well, you got Safeway in between. Sa Safeway was Gennardi. Safeway bought Gennardi's. Safeway bought Gennardi's. Yeah. Now Giant bought Safeway, or Giant is Safeway. <laughs> Gi Giant is taking over these Gennardi okay. stores. I, 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 oh, yeah. I it. yeah. I'll say one thing. When this project was uh, initiated, uh, we had special provisions for the sign. Do you remember that, Bob? Uh, no, because at that Four time I was on the board. We had special Correct. provisions. So probably if you're stating within, staying within the same uh, outline, we don't need to go back to those. But if you're exceeding what Genardi's had, it's going to be difficult because they were maxed out. 
But the square square foot area that we're utilizing is the same square foot area right. okay. that was That's there good. before. That makes it easy for us then. Okay, good. So we'll, we'll start with the wall sign. How's that? Okay. Great. Uh, yeah, the, the new wall sign, uh, we would remove the letters that are there now on the logo. Uh, the wall would be repaired and the new uh, giant letters would be installed in the same location as the existing sign. The letters are two foot six high and the total square foot area is 34.4 square feet. Okay, so you're, you're allowed up to 50 square feet, so you're fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. The um, tell us just a little bit how it's going to be fabricated. <clears throat> uh, the the letter are individual letters. Uh, the metal returns and the backs are aluminum uh, with a baked enamel finish on them. The face material is acrylic, uh, translucent white acrylic with a red translucent vinyl applied to the face of okay. it, and the, they're internally lighted with LED lighting. It's low voltage and... Uh, mm -hmm. Is it, this what's done at their other stores for the most part? Yes, sir. Okay. The newer signs. Right. Mm -hmm. What do you guys feel about the 30 inches? Oh, I, I've Height. thought about this in advance. Right. There's nowhere that you can see this sign from Lancaster Avenue. No, I, I just no, wanted no. to make sure that we did address that for anybody who was watching or taking notes because we mm -hmm. never allow um, lettering that the letters to be that tall. It's an interior. But this is an interior. Yeah, exactly. it's yeah. just not yeah. visible from anywhere. So mm -hmm. right. I'm okay with that. And yeah. it looks very appropriate on the building, actually. Exactly. And clearly, well, yeah, Gennardi's it, had the same very, pretty close very large building. It's oh, right. yeah, you need yeah. to draw attention to it. Yeah. So that it works. Let me just ask you this, for the sake of the neighbors back there, which are quite a ways off in the apartments, apartment building, will that sign be turned off at night, do you know? To when the, the store is closed? To the best of my knowledge, it is on a time switch. We'll be tying it into the same electric and whatever, you know, when the store closes, okay. uh, it'll, it'll be going off. Yeah, the store is dark. I think the sign should be off. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll, we'll put that into the motion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Is there any other signs on the building itself? No, sir. That's okay. the only. That's the only sign at this time. Okay. The Giants in the process of re-imaging their stores. They have a design team working on that, mm -hmm. and we may be back to see you okay. in several months to talk about something else. But right no now, this would be the only sign on the okay. building. Okay. Signs and awnings and all that has to come before us. Sure. Okay. Good. So why don't we look at the monument signs? Looks like yes, four there, of those. there are uh, four existing freestanding monument signs, low, low mounted, and they are broken up into individual panels for the tenants. And our proposal is to replace the Gennardi's panels with new giant panels, same colors, same fabrication detail, which is a routed aluminum background. It's, of course, opaque and uh, translucent uh, acrylic letters laminated to the back side of the uh, aluminum, and they will be illuminated by the fluorescent tubes inside mm -hmm. of the signs. And again, it's a direct face replacement, no right. change in size. As long as you're in time and respect the, other, the existing signs in color and tone, yeah. that's, right. that's yeah. all I have to do. And they've recently been all redone. Yeah, so yeah the, the exactly. color should be an easy match, you know. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay, good. So you have four of those. Yes, sir. Okay. Is there anything else you're coming in with tonight, or is that no, pretty sir. much going to do it? That's, That's it. pretty much it for tonight. Okay. Cindy, you're right. Sure. Tony, you're okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. So okay. I do it. Okay. I like the easy ones. You got it. DRB, two zero one two twenty six Giant Food Stores, five fifty East Lancaster Avenue. Uh, signage approved as submitted. For a second. Do you want to mention anything about the light, about the Why don't we sign? do that? I'm sorry. All right, I'll okay. add that when the building goes dark, the, the signs should, the large sign that's on the parking lot should also go off. In respect to the, all the tenants or the, it, of in the, the buildings the, that live around. Apartment building in the back. Yeah. Okay. Just, just as a question, do you think those, the lights in the parking lot go off at night? Do they? Do you know, Bill? I think I think they go down to a certain dimming thing. There's also consideration, from what I understand, for Giant, <clears throat> excuse me, to um, to be open 24 hours. So that okay. sign could would, possibly would be on. lit at mm -hmm. night. 
Okay. But my understanding is, is everything goes to a dimming feature that's, that's required. I, I would want that to stay on if I were the, a neighbor. I, I wouldn't like that to be a dark parking lot. I so know. I think that's, you know, yeah, I, I'm I think, not really as picky about this sign going off because I don't think it's visible from Yeah, Yeah, I think there's, some, there's something written, written into uh, some, of the, um, some of the agreements that the township has with the, uh, with the shopping center there to do that. Okay, so that would take precedence over. Yeah, that right. would, yeah. So actually your motion, the first motion was probably appropriate. Well, if it does go dark, then they, they can darken the sign. So, okay, and, sure. But I don't believe the building will be dark, given if they're going to be open 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. 24 okay. hours. All right, good. All right, do I hear a second? A second. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Okay. With, which group are you with? 1084. 1084. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, we're going to jump ahead in the agenda. We're going to go to number 6, DRB 2012-29. The application of Ivy Mott Rosemont Associates LP, 1084 East Lancaster Avenue in Rosemont, for one freestanding sign. Okay, and this ap applicant was in last month, if you yeah. remember. Yes, I do. And we approved some signage and coming for Keep a. Keep driving by saying, when is that subway going in? <laughs> okay, Where's good. My... This is the building at the Y. We're at Connors, we're yes. uh, that's right. Cross right. McDonald's. Right. 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 McDonald's. Cross right. McDonald's. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, you were, I don't think you were here last month, Tony. I we wasn't. No, we he approved was not. Uh, um, some wall signs and um, some changes to the exterior of the building. So okay. it looks like it's a real nice project, yeah. Sal. And I know this um, uh, pole sign was approved a number of years ago when Bank of America went in there. Yes. So. Okay. Correct, yes. Uh, this is Patricia Michon. I'm Patricia yes. Michon, and I have James M. Site with me for the property owner, Ivymont Rosemont Associates, for the property at 1084 mm -hmm. East Lancaster Avenue in Rosemont. And we are here for an application uh, for a sign, for a change to the existing sign, uh, face of the sign on either side, as you can see. You represent the building owner? Correct. Okay. As you can see in this exhibit here, showing the Subway and Papa John's logos. It will be the exact same sign as you can see, the existing sign. So it's basically just a plate change. Mm -hmm. That's all. Yeah. Yep. We're not changing, not to interrupt, but we're not changing the height. Right. I'm sorry, can you just talk into the mic, please? Thank you. Uh, again, my name is James Seip. Um, we're not changing the height of the sign. Mm -hmm. It's the exact same structure as right. the original uh, Bank of America sign. Mm -hmm. We are changing the upper portion to accommodate the split of the two signs, sure. but not enlarging it. It's exactly the mm -hmm. same size. And um, last month when we were here, you obviously looked at the attached signs, the building sign, and the canopies. Mm -hmm. This is consistent with the same logos, colors, mm -hmm. to match those two approvals that we had already got. Okay. Yeah. We just weren't prepared to present this last oh, month. No problem. I remember when I came in a few years back, and it was kind of a tricky sign because you couldn't put uh, two legs on that sign that's with the traffic flow mm -hmm. and everything like that. So I think it worked out pretty well. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. That's why we don't want to change the structure. No, that, I, no. I'm glad you haven't. Yeah. Uh, what was, I'm sorry. Did you already explain the lighting situation? What happens in, dark, at, in the, at night on this sign? Uh, typically, at, after the hours of operation, there are security lights that remain on the building. We typically turn the, um, the pylon signs off. Mm -hmm. The canopy signs, um, I believe, go down as well. But uh, typically, we turn the, the site lighting or any lighting that's in there goes down after the hours of operation. So this, I guess the sign's internally lit. And that's correct. It will just sh all, only the letters and the logo will show through at night. The it's background the, will drop the, out. It's the, well, the logo actually is the green and the letters, and the logo on the bottom is the white and the logo. That will show. The frame obviously won't show. Right. Nothing down, nothing around it. Okay, so with Papa John's, the white behind it does show. That does show. Well, that really that's part of the logo. Oh, we had to reshape that really it. That really shouldn't. We yeah. reshaped it to make it fit, obviously because it's in a regular shape on the Papa yeah. John's, and there was really wasn't too much. That so we could your logo though isn't the white space outside of Pizza and Pop Papa John's. Actually, the Papa John's logo is just the same way as the Subway is usually that green square, right. and this is in conformity with what is going to appear on the awnings, which were approved last right. month. So but, it keeps mm -hmm. a conformity and structure and well, I think the, uniformity. The, the question is. On all backlit signs, the background has to be opaque. So at nighttime, when those signs are lit, the only thing visible should be 
subway, all that exterior green should look black. Same with Papa John's. Papa John's will light up in red, pizza will light up in white, but that background of Papa John's should be dark also. So it's an opaque background. And so I don't know if you're aware of that or I'm not in the side code. Isn't this an office building? Yes, it is going to be mixed use. Mixed, mixed use. Yeah. 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 It's mixed. So uh, I'll, just, I'll find that for you. The, that was not the intention, but we understand what you're asking for. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, during the day, it'll look just as you see. Right. But at nighttime, like I said, that background of Papa John's, which is white now, uh, is going to be dark. It has to be dark. Like, if you want to go, is this a combined franchise? No, no. it's not. It is not. It's There's just two, two se separate. Correct. Two separate tenants, right? Yeah. And you go into the double doors. Yeah, How the, do you the, access these? There was, there was actually a pair of doors for, although they weren't handicap accessible, I mean, they weren't handicap width mm -hmm. for the bank. And we're just modified. They're really in bad shape. They were rusted out. Those are the ones we came in and were, we showed you on the last, on last I might month. Be, I might have a picture of that, Tony, so you can, because that's, that's going back that's, over that's pretty, what, what we, what we so talked about last week. We're replacing the double doors to provide a door for each of the two yeah. units. Right. Nice. Yeah. Based in the same opening. In fact, we're working on it. Mm -hmm. So getting back to the there question of the opaque. Um, Read that, Tony. Oh, do you, you want to hear the, the code? Uh, I think I, I understand it, but I'm. Um, I have a copy of the code here. Oh, Thank that you. section? Yes, thank you. Okay. So in, in essence, what they do is a, if, if I'm good, they, they do an opaque panel, metal cut panel, and then mm -hmm. they put the logo behind just the portion so that the white is white, solid color, light not coming through. The green is green color, but right. not light coming through. Exactly. Right. It would just come through the white and the yellow. Right. And it would mm -hmm. come through the whole irregular shaped logo of Papa John's. Well, I would, I would, yeah, certainly think the interior within the, we'll call it the oval. I that, think that could be lit. You know, okay. the, yeah. The pop, anything inside right. the, the out, the ex. I think there's two outline. ways we could yeah. do this. Yeah. I think we could either put an opaque panel behind the, the plexiglass that's mm -hmm. cut out in the shape of the letters or logos, mm -hmm. or we could do an aluminum extrusion with the cutouts and have the letters behind that. Okay. So I think we can do that. Okay, as long as okay. the background's dark at night. I understand. Like, I Subway <laughs> almost looks the way I would want it to look anyway when I look at this, right. the projection. You, but would, you would, in, if, if, if you would in fact see a slight green glare through that, but by, by putting the panel in, we won't, you, you won't yeah. have that. Without no, right. You okay. only see the green in the daytime. Exactly. Is, okay, that, is that what you're asking yes, for? Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. okay. That we can accommodate. Okay, Thanks, you have a copy great. of the code, so, okay. All right, there, um, I don't remember, but is there a need for a uh, planting bed at the base of that sign, just uh, for it's, protection it's or anything? Paved, and as you it's mentioned, an asphalt, there's a wall I think. and a parking space right there. Okay, I couldn't remember, really? so. Yeah, it's, That's why the one leg. All right, so. but it's pretty well protected. Pretty it hasn't much. been yeah. dinged up yeah. or anything, okay. All right, and uh, it meets a 15-foot height requirements, yep. or okay there. And the and, space, everything's good. Yeah. Okay, so as long as you understand the opaque, that's, that's the key we'll issue. Mod we'll modify that specification okay. to accommodate that. Okay, I great. I appreciate that. No problem. That's nice, thanks. Okay, Tony, do you have any questions or comments? I have none. Take it away, Cindy. All right, well, then, in the matter of, just get the right one, uh, DRB 2012-29, Ivymont Rosemont Associates for the poll sign, I move that we accept the design as presented, the only change being that the background will be opaque at night. Okay, Thank you. Okay, do I hear a second on that? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you. And I guess we'll just take a brief recess because mm -hmm. we have a few people on the agenda.
and we're on. Okay. okay, continuing on with tonight's agenda is DRB 2012-25, the application of Campus Corner Pizza at 829 East Lancaster Avenue in Villanova for one freestanding sign, six window signs, and a wall sign. Hello, sir. Hi, though. My name is uh, John Iezzi. I'm the proprietor of uh, Campus Corner. Um, I've been the owner there for the last decade. Uh, I've, been in the, I've been employed there for the last 27 years. I just wanted to let you know that. Um, <laughs> it's been eating all that good food. Uh, anyhow, I apologize for my sign guy uh, from ML Sign Company. No He's problem. having some vehicle problems. but No problem. Um, we'll help you through it, John. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay. Uh, so, John, why don't, why don't we start with the pole sign? Sure. Okay, and I think we have the graphics up on the screen there. Yes. So uh, We're um, proposing to change the face plates of that sign. Mm -hmm. We're not going to do anything to the actual sign itself other than the face plates, which would be one on either side, one face in east and one face in west. Okay. Um, right now, there, it, is, it is a white sign. It illuminates and white light does come out of right. that sign. So we were kind of like grandfathered in for that, I think, because that sign's been there for about 60 years now. Mm -hmm. um, so we're, what we're proposing is to change the faceplate to what you see there, okay. which would be a blue background mm -hmm. with just the lettering being able to be visible when it's okay. illuminated. And you probably understand from our last application mm -hmm. that the background at night has to be dark. Yes. And only the lettering Correct. can shine through yes, and, your, yep. and your logo can come through. Yes. But all the rest of it has to be dark. Right. And that blue shade is fine? Is that, is that okay? Well, it's fine during the day, but again, night, at night time. Dark, as dark. Night, that's, yeah, they, they that's put a film. Just, okay. yeah. Yeah, they'll okay. put a film on the inside of that Got so it. that a light can't shine through to, right. through to blue. Just a redefinition. You mentioned the word grandfathering for everybody. All signs that came before the sign ordinance was put together in the 90s, Okay. Uh, any sign that predated that that's still in existence is grandfathered in. But if you change one rivet on that sign, then you're no longer grandfathered in. I, I realize that. You're no grandfathered in. You change yeah. the name, you change the color. You and that's one color. of the reasons why I okay. want to do this because it's right kind button. of like. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like on the haggard end of, yeah. of its like, life. Well, I think it'll just enhance your the location whole. and look and everything like that. Exactly. It'll be just a little more up to date. And, and um, you had some questions about the wiring. The, the, the wiring has already been um, okay. by Morello Electric, uh, has been run underground. Okay. It's all so about the code. What and we see here has the, been cleaned up. Correct. Okay. Correct. That, that has already been taken care of. Okay, good. Yeah. And currently there's two signs on the, the I guess, the overhang or well, the awning. Let's, let's just oh. let's hold, hold back just for okay, a second. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, the condition of the pole itself, John? It's, 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 it's fine. Yeah. It's good shape? Good shape. Yep. Okay. And the, oh. wire, the wiring has been run inside of the pole and fished okay. through to the top. That's it's not it mounted be. to the outside or okay, anything great. like that. And, and we're going to fix it. Make the yeah. so the sign doesn't swing. You're going to have a bracket at the yes. bottom to problem, secure it, so we don't have that swinging, right? Right. Okay. Yep. Okay. And this is considered a pole sign since it's higher since it's higher than eight feet. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it can go up to 15 feet, and I think you showed it. It's under 15 feet. Correct. And with a pole sign, you're allowed up to 25 square feet of signage. And right now you're at 24. Okay. So you're okay on the yeah, we're, yeah, size. Yeah, we're not changing the size of the sign Right. At all. So you, you, yeah. you do meet the requirement there by uh, one square foot. Right. And he has the required clearance under the sign also. Yes. yes. So, um, and okay. the copy on the sign is except is fine. Yeah, all day delivery. That's kind of the logo you might say. Yep. And yep. Yeah. You good. can put your website, thought, yep. you can put your phone and establish 1961. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good thing to put. So. I think that's a nice thing to have there. Yeah. yeah. And your logo is, is a good logo, John. Okay. So. John, is there um, a theme to the food that you serve? Um, or a, you know, no, just not stop. really a thing. We just, we just, you know, more, more like college-related things. You know, we sit literally three and a half feet from the property of Villanova. There, we're the very first dwelling at the end of the western mm -hmm. end of the campus. There, um, yeah. I mean, Good. we don't really have a theme per se. You know, we're more like pizzas and mm -hmm. steaks, Philly's cheese steaks, wraps, hoagies, salads, pasta, things of that nature. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, okay. So why don't we? Go over to the wall sign. So right now you have two signs up, and actually you're not allowed to have two signs. Correct. Okay. One of them does not is not um, have any electric run through okay. it currently. Okay. We're, what we're trying to propose here is to take down the one sign that was the original campus corner sign mm -hmm. um, prior to 
taken over 827, which was the property that's attached to ours, which was at one time Villanova Hardware. Right, um, right now we have a faceplate in there for Campus Corner, but what we want to do is take the one on the 829 side down, um, side down and move the hardware center. store existing sign to the center of the building. Um, okay. And that's the faceplate there that you see in the picture that we're, it's, it's an identical faceplate mm -hmm. to what you see on the street. Mm -hmm. And we're putting it up there. So it's a single-use building. Yep. Yes. yes. Right. One sign. Mm -hmm. right. So it's obviously the square footage is correct on that wall sign. Yes. It looks good. So 24 and, also. And also, you're it's 24. You're allowed 24 square feet. No, no, there? no. He, 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 John, what's the just out of curiosity? What's the width of that building? I'm going to assume it's about um, 40 uh, linear feet, maybe about 20 and 20 on each side. I think so. It's, yes. Yes. It's 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 got to yeah. be. Right. Yeah. Uh, both sides are 1,200 square foot. Well, the car is yeah. about six feet wide. Yeah, so. yeah I was just yeah. thinking, so it's probably tw 24 to right. 30. Um, it's less than 40. Mm -hmm. the, John, what kind of um, condition when you take those two signs down? Evidently, it's going to be a lot of repair work to do. I'm sure there's brackets up there and holes and stuff like yes, that. Yes, we're going to replace all that. And also, um, I don't know if you can tell from the picture or not, there's like shingles on the on the awning or the rooftop there, mm -hmm. and we're going to replace all those shingles as well. If anything gets damaged in removing the sign and center it, we're going to fix all that. Okay, okay. so we want it to look new. No, that, it will you know, look all new. All the shingles are yeah. going to get replaced as well. Good. Yes. Okay. And naturally, all the fasteners and brackets all have to be hidden. Yes. So do it in such a way where we're yeah. not going to see any screws or, you know, brackets. Nothing, not even that. any wiring or anything. Okay. The wiring is going to be thing, run um, in underneath the... The overhang there, like you won't see any of that. Okay, good. It'll be all up to uh, code. Okay, Where's good. the rug store? Is there a rug store? There? A few it's doors down. West. Yeah, just yes. west. Right, the rug store is actually right next to the gas station there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. okay. Uh, He's doing a great yeah. job. <laughs> no, don't worry. He's got it. Sorry about that. Um, okay. There's nothing. Is there anything else on the wall sign? Well, again, the opaque background. An opaque okay, background. Okay, so not to match your uh, pole sign. Correct. Okay, so yep. at nighttime again, only your lettering. And your logo should right. should light up. Mm -hmm. yep. Got that? Okay. Great. And uh, John, on on your pole sign and your wall sign, both. Or, or I'll ask the sign fella here. Joe. Is it going to Joe? Sign. Is it going to be a, a plastic type material on the sign face itself? Sign face, yes. It'll be three quarters, of, uh, three sixteenths acrylic. Three sixteenths acrylic. Okay. Right. White. With vinyl lettering. Overlay. Okay. Not the not the lettering. Lettering will be cut out, and. The background will be overlaid, so the light will shine through the uh, white. Right, and okay. the back, the mm -hmm. background will be dark. Good. Okay. Great. Right. Are you guys okay? I'm on the okay. Wall with, I think it's great. Wall and pole sign work for me. Okay. And then John, the window signage looks yes. like you want to come in with some neon. Correct. Okay. You have a lot of stuff in your window now. Are you pretty much going to get rid of all that and start from fresh? Um, the only thing in the window currently, I believe, are. Um, Two open signs. Okay. That you would see, like you know, the standard open signs yeah. that you see in businesses. And, okay. Um, also, the other sign would be like a Dietz and Watson sign that says that we use Dietz and Watson meats okay. or whatever. But we would take them down. Right. I don't know whether I can um, possibly keep the open signs and maybe put them above the doorway. Mm -hmm. If you see, there's like a little glass mm -hmm. opening above Doing the doorway. Yeah. There. Yeah. It might be a good spot. Yeah. You're you're limited to your square footage on on glass. I think it's 20%. 20%, 20 correct. Yeah. Right. I, uh, I don't think he's got 20% here. No. The, uh, I mean, if I just even look at each window, it doesn't look like he's got a quarter of, uh, you know, or a fifth of each window covered, or, do you think? Especially well, with, I, you go around all the letters. The pasta is about 2.4 square foot. Actually, I and turned my signs over to somebody else. My, oh, okay. Let me see yours for a second. And that's about 10%. So okay, the windows so, are 21 square feet each. Right. So is if I even just go sign by sign, we're, these are, these be, are yeah. the uh, Philly cheesesteaks, fast delivery, they're all just a hair under four square feet. And what's the total window square? Oh, these are each 21 square feet. Okay. Okay. So is this a little so bit? So he's allowed four square yeah. feet in each window, and he's just... Got everything? Yeah, yeah right. It, I was just some eyeballing. Are it, yeah, a couple are cutting it close, but they're all within the, uh, within the range there. Yeah, but if you... If you Think about it. There are eight windows on Wellington six times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. If you. It's good. Right. I was looking at, at, at those individual panels, so, but you're okay either way. Okay. All right. The um, 
John, one thing we're going to ask you, I don't know if you have it or not, but your street address should be very visible. I, I, I think there is one there, but um, Cynthia has brought that to my attention, and I will make sure that there. You could probably put decals on the just above your door. I, I don't know what the best place to I put it is. I think there is one there. It's just not visible in the picture, but I will make you sure. Know, you know, you just want to make sure if, you, if for any reason an emergency vehicle had to get there, you don't want them missing you. Guessing the address. <laughs> yeah. Especially when there's an 800 in Lancaster Avenue in every town that you go through. Yeah, and you, are you 30. east? Are you west? Where? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, so you exactly. definitely want your, your address on there. I understand it fully. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And, and I know a lot of. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's fine. You're right, Joe? Yes. Yeah, okay. Provide the other thing is uh, no sandwich boards outside. They're, they're against the code. The A frame type signs, portable signs. You don't have any no, shown, just, but just in case you're Bob says this it. to everyone when they come in. Right. If anyone nobody, wants food, nobody listens. But I know, I, but everybody. it's his favorite thing. Like, yeah. Don't no put a sandwich, sandwich board. I, I got really confused with that. I, yeah. I know. <laughs> you weren't expecting it, I'm sure. <laughs> The A-frame oh, boards. Oh, oh, I yeah. understand what you're saying. Like I said, you mean like we the tell everybody. Type yes. Okay. Yeah. They all put them up. I actually put one out there one uh, semester, uh, the first day of it, um, freshman orientation. Sure I put welcome gone. freshman. And it was stolen. And, I, and someone, no, someone came by and told me I can't do that. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Really? Yeah. I'm surprised at least it lasted. <laughs> yeah. Through the, yeah. Okay, so now you know that. Okay. And one last thing, and again, kind of based in that linear feet, on the building of approximately 40. I just, there's a total sign area, and I kind of added up all your signage. You're about 67 square feet worth of signage, mm -hmm. and you're allowed approximately 80 square feet. So you're, you're meeting the code that way also. Right. So you're under Good. your total allotment of a square footage on okay. one property, so. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, what else, Tony? Questions or comment? No, no Cindy? Nope, I'm good. I you're like right. it. I think okay. it's all good. John, you're Thank right. Thank you very everything? much. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Jay, you're okay? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So we need motions. Yes. I think we could do it with one motion because there's nothing, I mean, in the matter, shall I give it a shot? Give it a shot. Well, jump in if I get it wrong. Okay, go ahead. All right. In the matter of DRB 2012-25, um, Campus Corner Pizza, we're considering the wall sign, the pole sign, and the neon signs. I propose that we accept the complete design as submitted. The one, you know, we, we've already explained that the sign must um, reverse out at night, can't see the background, and that the pole sign is to be secured so it doesn't sway in the wind. Yeah. Did they get it? Yeah, oh. I would just mention about the wall sign repairs and wire. Oh, and I'm sorry. Please repair any damage done to the building. When you, re when you remove the old sign and ha rehang your new sign, make sure everything looks um, like it's restored to new. No so it looks clean and spiffy. Yeah. Okay. Got clean it. and spiffy. Got it covered. Clean and spiffy. I Got appreciate that. it. Thank you. All right. We'll be down for pizza. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Appreciate oh, that. We forgot to say all okay. in favor. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Second aye. and aye. Second, Second all in favor. Aye. Thank you. Okay. Uh, you're with which? Uh, okay. Oh, There's yay. Good. I just want to see. All curious about that. Excuse company. me, sir. You're with? Chili's. Oh, with Chili's. Okay. All right, no problem at all. Okay, clear. so oh, our clear. next application is DRB 2012-27, the application of Verizon Wireless Cellular Sales at 314 East Lancaster Avenue for a ground sign, and I don't believe the ap applicant is here. So we'll jump over them, and we'll go to Chili's, which is DRB 2012-28, the application of Chili's Grill and Bar, 312 West Lancaster Avenue in Wayne, for two wall signs, 13 awnings, and a whole new building. Uh, this is going to be a long renovation. one because maybe the crepery. Well, they're going to be kind of long too. Crepery so. look kind of. They've got two coming in, so. They have an awning and a little sign. Do you think that's a lot? Well, why don't we want to continue with the yeah the agenda? We might that. have other people jumping in also. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm glad you made it tonight. We're worried about you. Sorry, I I thought it was seven o'clock. I apologize. No, no problem at all. Happy you're here. I'm Mike Longley from Quality Dining. We're the owner and operators of the Chili's restaurant. Uh, I'm here tonight to seek your approval for our design, uh, for our color scheme, for our awnings, our um, signage, and what other jurisdiction you may have. <laughs> okay. um, Not as much as we want, thank you. <laughs> but uh, we look forward to being a part of the community again uh, and uh, want to do what we can to uh, work with the community. Okay. So, of course, everybody knows the building was demolished yes. due to a fire, and it's a rebuild. And um, 
So not only do we have to look at signage, we have to look at pretty much everything. Right. Lighting, landscaping, so basically a new building application. So, um, so why don't you just give us kind of a run through on, on the building itself and. Okay. Um. Can you turn it? Turn yeah. Up. For some reason, it's upside down for you. Yeah. Can you see that? Looks good. Yes. Okay. Um, this is a Ephus and uh, brick building, or Ephus and stone building. The stone sample I brought for you tonight is at the front of the podium. The stone is uh, to go around the tower, and I can bring that forward if you Okay. Sure. Okay. I'll actually give you a handheld too, just in case you're going to need it. Okay. Nice. The Thank stone. You. The stone wraps around the um, front of the building and up the sides of the tower. Uh, the balance of the building is an ephus, which I brought samples of. I'll point them out to you where they go on the colors, and then I'll bring them forward for you, if that's Thank okay. Thank you. If I can fit them all in here. This, um, this color is the main color of the body. It goes across where you see it's tan. It's called, whoops, Surrey Beige. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's called Surrey Beige. It goes in this area here. And this is the color. And once again, I'll bring it up for you. And it's these are all a, cement plaster, like drive it? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Um, above that, we have a band that is called um, Dark Dark Night. It is a darker black band, mm -hmm. uh, which is here. Same type of material, same finish. And then there is a red band, which the doors are of that color too, it's called Rapture. Rapture? Yes. And uh, this is a little lighter than the actual sample, so I brought a paint chip just for you could see what it, the true color would be. This is the mm. true color of the band. What kind of southwest colors in accordance with That's correct. Like chilies? Is it the same color as, um, maybe I'm jumping ahead, as the pepper? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, so overall, the building is ephus and stone, or stone on the facade, uh, and it's primarily made up of the three colors. There is uh, some of the brown that's highlighted on the sides, which are really not in the view across mm -hmm. the front of Lancaster. It's does primarily- this, Does this treatment wrap around the building? Yes. The back too, back side? Yeah, the, side the, too. the colors, yes. Yeah, a lot of times people just do the front or they do one side, but you're doing the whole building. Yes, sir. Three, four square. Okay. Yes, sir. Good. Um, if, if you have any questions on that, I'd answer the building colors now, or I can move on to the awning colors and then save the signage. Yeah, that, I don't fine. have any questions. No, it's fine. It looks good. I mean, I don't mm -hmm. know if you guys have been no, by recently. Yeah, I, I, I drive by constantly. Yeah. Yeah. No, the yeah. colors are great. Right. Okay. There is a metal <clears throat> canopy or awning on the front. This is the color of the metal that's on it. Um, and it's to protect people when they enter from rain. Mm -hmm. It's what the chilies is mounted to. It's this area right here across the front. Oh, I see. The rain canopy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then we have um, fabric awnings. They're on aluminum frames. Um, I've got a picture that I can show you of the actual awning. I'll take this out and I'll put this in its place and then I'll bring you up the fabric samples. Once again, let me get this out of the way. Um, it's at Southwestern um, color scheme. The red is similar to the uh, Rapture. The uh, 
green is this lime green. Mm -hmm. It's a um, Sunbrella fabric. It's a higher end fabric. And I apologize, these are only two. This is a sample of the red, and this is a sample of the white. I mean, I That's have no great. problem with That's perfect. Colors. All good. Well, the only, yeah. the only thing that I question is mm -hmm. the awnings themselves because it's, I mean, technically it's some advertising on those awnings. Or okay. Do you look at it as advertising? How? How's that? Uh, well, I mean, it they does have, no have lettering a, on them. I I'm see sorry? graphics, but well, I, don't, I'm, I mean. I don't, I don't know. It's a tough call. Well, you can't read the word chilies across there. No, you, you can't. can't. You can? No, you can't. No, you can't. So to me, it's just, um, I was just thinking about that. It's a printed. Just right. a graphic. It's just, it's just a graphic just, as just, far as I'm okay. concerned. Doesn't bother yeah, and it doesn't, yeah, it, we, there's no text, which is what we usually, we say no right. to Right, oh, oh yeah. definitely no text. Yeah. yeah. So pretty that, much, I don't know if you're, you're probably familiar with the awnings, you know, eight-inch lettering on the face of the awning and all that, so this is kind of. Yeah, it's a gra just, soft graphic statement. I mean, it's not. Okay. I mean, the only other person who's come in with graphics on the awning was Lululemon, and they had a lot of writing on theirs, so we said no to that. Even okay. though it looks cool, yeah. it's no, just not acceptable, okay. not within our um, okay. our design code. I have no problem with So I, I don't have a problem with Let this either. Let me just double-check with Bill and just... Oh, yeah. Hey, Bill? Bill? What, what's your take on that? I mean, we could probably could consider it graphics because, I mean, some of it does appear to be a partial letters on, on a few of the awnings, so mm -hmm. you may, you may want to take that into consideration. What if we ask them to get rid of the letter? The, it looks like you're seeing part of an S. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I'm looking at there. Yeah, it looks like part of the end of, of a of a word there. You think you just stretch or... the pepper across there a little bit and get rid of the S? Sure. Then we'll have then there will be no confusion. Like we didn't allow any text on the awnings. Okay. Does that sound fair? I think so. Okay. All right. Uh, while I've got the awning picture up here, I want to point out the down lights. These are shielded uh, down lights. Mm -hmm. These are LED. Uh, fixtures and they're meant to light the top of the awning they're not meant to spill light out into the parking the on the lighting the parking lights a lot of lights remain unchanged the only thing we're doing to those are painting the poles uh, replacing any damage or broken lenses and any any maintenance that needs to be done but we mm -hmm. Did not. We knew that most ordinances don't allow you to increase lighting, and so we assumed whatever lighting was in place, we would just accept and leave it as such. Uh, so, as far as the lighting goes, that's um, the down lighting. There are some um, landscape lights that light to illuminate the face of the building. There's a very narrow bed on each side of the building narrow by uh, the distance of about 18 inches. Hmm. Um, and that's just because of the nature of the lot. We had to build within the existing footprint. Yeah. So what I tried to do is I tried to actually add green space. Mm -hmm. And I, so what I did is I reduced the one drive aisle uh, and allowed us for we could get some plantings around the building. Um, it's, it's tight. Uh, but you had pretty nice screen space in front of the building. Yeah, before. and we, that so we're talking now about the sides. The sides. Yeah, did the asphalt go cl pretty right, close? Right, right up, up to the building. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. The, the asphalt previously went right against the building. Mm -hmm. And so what I did is I tried to create some green space on either side of the building, which we're going to put with some low foundation shrubs, okay. uh, nice. which will be some like density form of use. Mm -hmm. Uh, and something that takes le little water because there's just not a lot of room in there. Right. Um, and then across the front, uh, we're going to go back with the vibrant landscape that we had before, mm -hmm. uh, where we'll go with an ornamental tree out front. We'll have some more dense form of use, mm -hmm. uh, and we'll, you know, that'll all be grass and beautiful landscape. Mm -hmm. And uh, if if you'd like, I can bring you a finalized plan. I don't have one because we haven't seen what was going right. to be left from construction. Well, I, I think we will need that a landscape mm -hmm. plan. Okay. So if you don't mind coming back in a month or two or whenever yeah, that's right. I, if Yeah, if I can bring that next month. Yeah, sure. That I, I have no problem with that. I'd just like to. Um, I think you just have to line that up with Veta and Bill, you know, when you're going to come back, you know, the return to show the landscape plan. Yeah, the cutoff for, for DRB is the 18th for next month, the 18th of this month. 
So it'd be next. Okay, so next Tuesday you have the, next, that? he can't just get on the agenda without having his plan in place. The uh -huh. landscape plan is not in place yet. Yeah, he'd have, to, he'd have to bring that in to make an application, so. Right. Yeah. Is it, uh, could it be a continuation of my existing application? Or do I need to resubmit a? I, I would say you probably need to submit a new application because I don't think that was even on your existing application, was it? Well, the, the, uh, it says landscape plan not landscape? not available or not. Does it say? Well, there's a there's a, a plan that was attached that deals with the back of the property, mm -hmm. and I believe it shows the outline of the building. Oh yeah, wait. In, and I can point out those areas that I'm referencing. I think that is on here. Well, I, 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 I don't want to hold up the whole okay. approval okay. over that. Um, oh, we can approve yeah. step by step. We can approve mm -hmm. very hard. You don't, that won't hold you up. If, okay. You know, you won't be ready to plant till when? Well, it'll be in May. What, what are we looking at as far as a grand opening? First part of June. Okay. So okay. It's moving pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. Good. The cactus cacti grow around here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alo that, some do, but not great. Okay. So, Bill, you would like to see them back with the landscape plan then? Yeah, that's correct. Tony, uh, is your mic off? Oh, yeah. Did it? There you go. Not now. I guess one thing that's it's kind of good in a way, you're putting out like landscaping bed along the side of the buildings. That's been kind of an overflow parking space. For Manila's? People, uh, no, oh. for, for Chili's. When oh, lots yeah, they, they park they next to it. They kind of squeeze in there, which is really is in a good space, and God forbid there's another fire. I think a fire truck will probably have a hard time getting through with those trucks, you know, parked up along the building. So yeah. it's probably going to, uh, mm -hmm. you know, stop people from parking there. So, okay, so, so. That's, okay, so. that's a lighting in my, um, my uh, I guess, presentation on... Okay the landscape and I will okay. see you back here. How about the exterior lighting in the parking lot area? That's it's what he's just restoring to where it was before. Oh, you're restoring? Yeah. Okay. You're, just, you're just repairing That's whatever was damaged, not, not changing any poles, replacing the lights that were broke, anything was broken and repairing, right? That's correct. We're not I mean, moving any light standards. We're not replacing. The only thing we're doing is stripping, repainting, okay. refinishing any damage. Okay. To, the heads because they weren't affected by the fire. As I mentioned, uh, Ms. Ritz said, uh, you know, most municipalities we deal with don't want to see more lighting, they right. want to see less. Okay. And so I didn't figure there would be, you know, a, it would be a waste of everyone's time to ask for additional okay. lighting. More illumination? Right. Yeah. All right. So you feel that the lighting is in good shape? Yes. Okay. Um, we had some resident issues. Uh -huh. Have they all been addressed and recognized? Uh, uh, that I don't know. In the rear, I'm not sure. Bill would know better than me. I believe that's all been addressed. All okay. Yeah. Good. All right. Yeah. I know we've had situations know, uh, where we've had businesses back up the residential. We've asked uh, the business owners to shield the lighting uh, in such a way to keep it out. But you haven't heard anything then. No, not in that. I think the big the big problem was water runoff, and they the they put a retention issue. pond in there, so so they've addressed the issues right. that, that the township has asked them to do. Well, that's okay. what I'm getting at. Okay, good. Um, jumping around a little bit, but as long as we're talking about the building and exterior and stuff like that, the trash situation. Where are you going to have your dumpster? Is it on the site plan? Uh, it's located directly behind the building. Uh, it's. Um, uh, gosh, I, I, you know, I may have it on an elevation. You know if, you're, if you're not ready for that, you can bring it in with landscaping well, also. I, I can, uh, it's attached to the building. It is attached. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's not remote anymore. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's directly outside of the um, back door. So there's a dumpster gate. The mm -hmm. walls are matched and are finished in the same materials Good. that are on the building. Mm -hmm. So the same EFIS, the same Surrey beige will be on the walls of this with oh, the nice. same. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that uh, will be of um, any kind of fence would be a gate um, that's got a woven fabric in it. Mm -hmm. And that fabric is a red fabric in nature. Good. Uh, and, but it's completely enclosed. Great. Good. So All that's right. nice. That's, we always like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, I know those sidewalks were placed fairly recently. I don't know if 
that need to be replaced at this point or are still pretty good shape or? No, all the sidewalks out front were unaffected. Yeah. Um, the only part that may need to be addressed is when Aqua taps the main, mm -hmm. uh, if they damage the sidewalk, we'll replace okay. it at that time. Right, and the parking lot I know has got some potholes and stuff. Yeah, I'm we're sure going gonna to cut out uh, large sections of the parking lot and re seal the whole parking okay. lot and then we're going to restripe the entire parking lot we okay. want it to look new and look sure yeah. Oh, yeah it's gonna be great i know everybody's gonna be happy to have it back yeah well i appreciate that thank okay. you very much um all right so i think we've covered a lot of everything kind of but the, the signage i guess mm -hmm. unless there's other things that i've bypassed you guys anything with the exterior or no you have covered the sign well we're going to go to the signs next but the, and the landscaping plan is going to come back yeah Okay, so we already discussed the awnings. We're okay with that. Yep, I like the awnings. Okay, and, and you felt they were acceptable, right? There's yeah, muted I mean, graphics. It's a soft graphic statement. Yep. It's not a hard statement. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the, you mentioned I think on the awnings it's umbrella material, correct? Yes. Okay, so we're good there. Yeah, it's and, a uh, fifty-year umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think well, you're I, good I, I don't want to replace them anymore, and you want them faded. Yeah. I know we like Sombrella because it doesn't fade. It stays. Yeah. It's good for you and good for us. Yeah, we you still have to replace them after so many sure. years, but at least it lasts a lot longer than the vinyl. Yes. Mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah. The um, one other thing they have to be at least seven foot from grade, and I believe I saw they are the plans. They are. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I can't remember are. exactly yeah. what it was, but uh, they're at uh, nine feet. Okay. All right. So, any other questions on the awnings? You're all right with that? Yeah. Uh, I'm fine. You're okay. Um, all right, so why don't we talk about the signage and why don't we start right in the front there? Okay, so we have three signs. Um, there are uh, a pepper S and a chilies. And then on the, on the one elevation, there is a to go sign, um, which is here. Right. Mm -hmm. So those signs. Uh, are primarily made up of three materials. Um, this is the, the red, the green, and the white. Okay. Mm -hmm. The white is in the face of the chili's letter. Nice. Okay. The red and the green are the pepper in the S. These uh, are the sides of the cans. These are completely enclosed signs uh, because we recognize you can't. This is the the wrap of the can, which would be the right. border of the can sure. okay. on the chilies. Um, and then this is the can. Oh, for the pepper? Yeah, for the pepper. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And I guess... Um, one thing we should mention, and I think, Tony, you're aware of it, and Cindy, I think you're aware of it, Chili's has already been before zoning. Right. So you've okay. already had some relief from zoning, zoning right? Appeals board. Right. You already had some relief from the Zoning Appeals yes, Board we, in we terms had, of, it was all related to height, correct? No, it was related oh. to uh, the, the Chili's and the uh, Pepper S and the To Go. Right, the yeah. height of those signs is that yes. what the, that was? That's what I meant. Is how high they were going to be? Yes. Okay. So right. specifically, let's look at the chilies on mm -hmm. the front of the building. Right. Any idea of the letter heights on that? Uh, yes, they're two foot eleven. <laughs> okay, and so zoning gave you that size, that that's height, correct. right? That's so correct. you're just telling us because we don't have any purview yeah, over these, that. These these are the actual signs that were approved by zoning mm -hmm. as a matter of their record. Okay. Two foot 11? Oh, two, for, the, for the H. For the H. And the C is, is two, two foot. Two feet. Okay. All right. So 24 inch for the C mm -hmm. and uh, what's that, 35 for the H. I, th I think they're the right height off the off grade. Chili's not so the only thing is the, no. the letter height and that we don't have nothing any say about that they look good it's mm -hmm. it's not our usual choice but that's okay that's why you went to zoning okay okay so it'll be basically pin mounted to the building then or is it going to be a raceway or 
It's a raceway that's pinned onto the front of the canopy. That okay. black canopy you showed yes. us right yeah. Okay. All right. And then the, the pepper itself. It's okay. a, a flap mounted to the stone veneer on the building. Mm -hmm. Is that illuminated, the pepper? Yes. And, okay. Just out of curiosity, how big is that S? Huge. The S is three foot four. Oh, boy. 36, 40 inches. So the pepper glows and the S glows and mm -hmm. the apostrophe that's, glows. That's correct. And height from grade on that pepper? Um, I want to say it is. I wish I could. I can't see the number on my palm. My it was 21 feet, 2 inches, I believe. I, did, I didn't bring that with that, me. That's I apologize. Okay. That um, idea. It was lower than the original sign. Right. So I think we, on the, on we, the yeah, you know what, it said it was uh, originally 21 feet. Now it's yeah. coming down to 18, yeah. something that, like that. Yeah. Thank you. It was 18.6. Yeah. Well, zoning mm -hmm. appeals boards already. Yeah, so we don't right. really even need to discuss it. That's you know, right. everybody at home can see what it looks like. We just mm -hmm. need to go ahead with what we are charged with. Exactly. Right? Pretty much. That's Good. Right. Okay. All right. So, the, and the to-go sign on the side of the building? Is a white Lexan. It has no logo. It's a directional sign is how it was considered. Um, it has to mount flat to the building. It's not able to be viewed from the street. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a approximately a three foot in diameter um, sign uh, that directs people to that. And it's dedicated. lit, interior lit? Yes. Yeah. It's uh, direct people to that uh, dedicated entrance door, which is right here. Right. That's good. I don't think you had that. Previously, no, we did. So it'll reverse out. So at night, you'll just see to go in white. Is that right? In the back of uh, actually, it's uh, the back is white. The the to go is green. Um, is the way it's was designed and uh, it submitted. Can't all glow, only so in our code, we ask that it rever at night it reverse so that the the background drops out. You don't see it and the words to go would pop out. You could have them in green or mm -hmm. in white, whatever you feel would make it You'll stand out better. Day, but, but at night it'll be it could black. be It could be green at night, yeah. but. But you won't see it. Yeah, you won't see it against the black, black Yeah, black I mean, a light green, a lime green you would yeah, see. But right. I would, so I, I'm, I'm digressing. Was that understandable? Yeah, I, I need to pick either the background or the um, letters to be illuminated at night but not both. O only the letters can only be illuminated. Letters. Backgrounds have to drop out. That's what we just talked about the previous two. Okay. I, I know you didn't hear it, but the previous two applicants we explained, you have to, the background has to disappear so at night. Reverse it. it has to be just the letters. Okay. I, I gotta tell you something. I, I think the location of that, it's almost like a directional sign. I don't think anybody's really gonna see it up there. You can't. No. No, I mean, I'm saying I think it'd be more effective if it was lower, maybe. I think it'd be more effective if it was down next to the to the left of the glass of the window, but yeah, somewhere in a better position. I think it's. We I mean, uh, we had a lot of discussion about this sign at the zoning yeah uh, board. Uh, there was a lot of um, back and forth on this sign, and um, where it ended up and the design of it was uh, kind of driven by those discussions. Mm -hmm. um, I'm happy to talk to Kevin and see if he can, if I can modify it in yeah. some way. I don't mind uh, it, uh, and want to adhere to what you want me to do as far as the illumination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But as far as the positioning, I'd want to make sure that I don't. See, upset. my feeling is you already got permission from the zoning board. They this is not them. really our right. um, jurisdiction. I mean, You're just making a suggestion, yes, but right. that's okay. for you to do whatever because we aren't approving anything but the way the sign is illuminated. Tony, what do you feel about the position? Well, if that, if that was part of the package, it was approved, That's and that height was approved yeah. by the Zoning Appeals Board. Do you That's think it'd be it. better yeah. if it was lower or more That's effective for them? That's binding from their standpoint. Okay. But I'm just saying if it was repositioned lower, you think it'd be more effective for Chili's? Could I mean, be. If, I mean, not sure. to go back to Zoning Appeals Board. No, you wouldn't have to go. If we approved right. a lower sign, why would you have to go back to Zoning? They, because they're expecting it to be up there? But what if they put they it where? They made a binding decision. Yeah. The, the appeals board is binding, correct? 
Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah, See, we did. You have I, to go where if, but, if, but I would think that if he made it compliant with height, it may be okay. I would suggest that, it, that he talk to our zoning officer okay. just to be sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's just Kevin. In the meanwhile, okay I wouldn't want this to ha hold you up because you went through the proper channels and zoning yeah. approved this, and, the, and they told you where to put it. So, yeah, you know, ours is just a suggestion. But I mean, is that way you feel it's it's kind of lost up there? I mean, it's a takeout. Yeah, but it's not my area. business. So if that's yeah, where right. they think they want to put it, sure. I, I feel like that's that's up to you. You already have the permission to do it. I understand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, if I were going to put it I mean, myself, I'd want to be where people be see, correct, which is right around six feet. Yeah. So yeah, somewhere in there. But that's, you know, it's not really. They had part some of our concerns house. about the illumination being lower with the traffic on Lancaster. <laughs> sure, okay. Um, no, I, I don't want to get. Oh, my goodness. Well, we should not even be discussing that. No, so. Okay. All right. Well, the only traffic would be westbound traffic that might spot. Yeah. But. Which is in the right lane. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just as you guess them. Um, okay. Is there other signage? Uh, we're on just the we're replacing uh, the existing monument. We're just changing out the face panels. Okay, so that's going to stay. Yep, we're not modifying the sign in any way. Okay, how about your enter and exit signs? Uh, we were just changing the panels. We're not modifying. I, they're not even panels. I th I think they might just be wood. T take a look at that. I walk by there every day. I think it's just a wood post kind of sign, okay. but um, yeah, why don't, you, why don't you take a look at that? Okay. Yeah, and I would say um, that I don't know if that I don't know if that um, existing ground sign is in compliance or not. I'm not sure if it's a dark background. It's well, they chose not to review it because they were, it was just a panel change. Okay. So they didn't even, we brought it to them with what we were gonna do. Right. But I think Chili's came before the design review board ordinance. I never remember them coming in. No. No, it was before. No, because how long have you been there? No, how long has that Chili's been, been there since been there the 70s or 80s? Yeah, but that, or 80s. Sign, that sign was changed recently and sometimes, you know, one day all of a sudden a new sign pops up and, you know, I, didn't, I just don't remember them coming in for a new monument sign, so. Do we have a picture of the monument sign? Is that uh, what it looks might like? be? On I, those. I, I may have. I think I sent it in with the existing photos it's of the property. Right now. It's got the yeah. tarp over it. So so just thinking about when I drove by it too. I guess my concern is that it also the background drop out, and you just see the word chilies, right? The, on the on the on the monument. Yeah. Yeah. It's the ground sign or monument sign. Yeah. Monument yeah. Monument I monument would not so. see. I would not want to see the background and this and the lettering glowing. But we're going to have some real problems with a lot of people, right? Regardless of the zoning appeals board. Well, they didn't give the they didn't review your ground sign they, or your monument. They didn't review it, so that monument sign is, is there a change being made to it? They're just the panels are being. Okay, so we have to approve that since they didn't. Nobody, yeah, somebody wanted, has to approve that. Yeah. And you can see yeah. the reason in here is we we want to tell you that that has to reverse the background has to drop out just like we discussed on this to go sign. So during the day, it can show the pepper, the chili, the, whatever the color scheme is on it. But at night, you can only um, illuminate the chilies. You can only right. illuminate the chilies and your pepper, probably. And bar and grill. Bar and grill. Did yeah. you say bar and grill? Yeah. yeah. It yeah. would be this lettering. Can you Oops. flip it around? Uh, I think we have to see the grounds, the monuments on it. Right. Unfortunately. Has that already been constructed? Um, the panels are probably in production, yes. We'll call them up. Yeah. Hold production. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would, what, ahead, right, Bill? But yeah, Bob, just as information, that is not on their application. It says NA on there okay. for ground signs. Yeah. And we asked them to come back. So they're going to have to come back, pay right. the appropriate free fee, and do a new application. Of course, we'll need that by the 18th also. Yeah, I would say that the ground signs should come in and the enter and exit signs should come in at the same yes. time. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So, so take enter, a look at exit, this. ground sign, landscaping. Your, the application by the 18th, if you can, to get reviewed, to be reviewed for the May meeting. No pressure, but. <laughs> it'll, it'll be in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The difficulty with this approval is Zoning Appeals Board has gone beyond the Township Ordinance sign regulations. Sure. Which creates a problem with other uh, building owners and w where we have restricted their signage. And um, we have to be very careful that we don't want this thing to become a uh, football. They say, well, gee, let Chili's do all this. Now, 
why didn't you let us do it? And then suddenly we have 50 people protesting. <coughs> and it's really not your problem. It just creates problem. a lot of problems, that's all. But not your problem. Well, well it's mm -hmm. our building. Just so explaining it to you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm trying to do it in the right vernaculars. <laughs> well, I understand. You're, mm -hmm. I'm not a lawyer. You're very politically correct yes. about your explanation. Yes. I understand. Okay. Any other signs we missed on the building? Or no, sir. Sure. That's pretty much it. The other thing, again, you probably heard from previous applications, the address number somewhere yes. on the building. I don't know where is a good spot. Is it on your monument? I don't know. No, I don't know. Uh, would that be adequate? Would it? On the monument? Yeah, on the monument. Yeah. I would, Bill, would you be all right with that? As long as it's posted on both sides. Yeah. Okay. So if there's an emergency, obviously you want to be able to get there. Okay. I think you've had your one emergency. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping, Hopefully. right? <laughs> I hope so too. Yeah. So you want to be up and running by June, huh? May, right? Well, we want to. Oh, June, you said, yeah. June's okay. when we want to open. Yeah. So basically, Great. what we're saying is everything's all right, except we want to see the landscaping and we want to see the monument sign. And the, and, and, the, the and the directional signs. Directional signs. And the site directional sign. Okay. 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 So we need a motion. Do right. you have any other questions? Which approval will not be unreasonably withheld? Okay. You guys but have we want to see it. To work with. Okay. Cindy, any other questions or comments? Nope. Do you have any questions or comments for us? No. You're all right. Just seek your approval. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm begging you. <laughs> okay. All right. Who? Uh, How many times have you made these presentations? You do pretty well. Uh, Quite a few. I, you know, we've got uh, restaurants in seven states, so I spend quite a few hmm. times. Where are you from? Where are you? Indiana. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're on the road now. Yeah, I'm on the road quite a bit. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you being here tonight. No mm -hmm. problem. I, I yeah. apologize that I was late. I nah, no problem. Uh, it's all right. Okay. Want to give it a shot, um, Cindy? All right, I'll give it a shot. I hope I can remember everything we did. Okay, DRB 2012-28, Chili's Grill and Bar at 312 West Lancaster Avenue. I move that we accept the color scheme as presented for the building and, we ex and the awnings, uh, including the subtle graphics on the awnings. The building material, the stone, the ephus, um, the sign at the to-go station, but with the um, caveat that it's to be reversed so that at night the background drops out, we only see the words to-go. The lighting, can oh, we, pardon? Can we just ask you to, to bring in a copy of that also with the other signage, just so we have it for the files? Bring in a okay. copy of what? I'm sorry, Cindy. Bring in a copy of The what? reverse. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, and the lighting above the awnings. What else do we have? Trash. Oh, well, the trash, you've already told us that's going to be yeah. enclosed in, in the dumpster space. Parking lot lights. Parking lot lights are to be restored. Sure. Parking lot's going to be restored. And we're going to see directional signs, landscaping, monuments. and monument sign. Okay. I'm so sorry. At the next. And then, uh, shop drawings for the to -go yeah. Well, I mean, maybe you don't have to come back. You could send a proxy back or somebody yeah. local that can I come. I usually in. come about every two weeks. To I see. see. To see the, the progress. The hmm. Now, on the parking lot, the parking lot lighting. Mm -hmm. Basically, what we want to see are like can lighting. We don't want to see the light source. We want to see the effect of the light, but we don't want to see hot spots. I think they're just they're just using what they had before. They're just some of the lights yeah, are broken, right? But that's not that was done before the ordinance. Would you want to see the parking lot lights? Yes, I in? would want to see the parking lot. That would be tough to get that by the eighteen. Because I gotta send that out to a nationwide manufacturer to get an engineer drawn. I'm sorry. Do they, do they not have, like, you know, a standard drawing, like, um, where did I see some lighting well, got for the something? Cuts for well, the just cuts have for the cut. Yeah. Just, just send the cut. I, I mean, I can get you a cut sheet of Good. a full yeah. shielded That's fixture. That's, That's fine. it. Isn't but this if, it? If you want to so see a... It's full shielded. Yeah, yeah, and it has to be white light. It can't be can't be purple. It can't be yellow. Can't yeah, be it would be a, it would be a high, intensi uh, high yeah. intensity light. Okay. Um, but we My want only white concern light. is, we want yeah, it's, white a, light. it's a white light, okay. but when I change the No head, sodium or mercury yeah. vapor. That's correct. It would no. not be. Okay. Uh, when What's I, your concern? When I change that head to put that shield on, it will shield that light, but the light that will be going down will be more intense than what's there now. Fine. Okay, so that's so, not a hot spot? 
it'll, no, it'll create what a brighter I don't see overall. From the road is I don't want to see 20 lights. Oh, okay. I want to see <laughs> the heads, but I but the effect of the light is going down, as you say. So he wants the heads shielded so that if you're driving yeah. along, you don't see that bolt, you know, the bright light there. Right. But the bright, but the light does reflect down onto the pavement area. Yeah, yeah we feel that's been a real benefit in this township because oh, it I, keeps I, everything from kind of like the used car lot look. And we have a restaurant next year. We have I don't know who's on the other side. It's, it's a, uh, Dennis. Like and we were pretty rough on that restaurant when they came in next door. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I, I just want to make sure that. Um, I can achieve what you want. I, I mean, I'm, I'm very familiar with shielded fixtures, so don't yeah. get me wrong. You know what we're looking for. In the you type can... of light you're looking okay. for. My only concern is getting the proper balance of light without engineering the lighting because I would change the heads. And when you change the heads, you change the intensity. And when you change the intensity, well, you need to engineer the parking lot lights. Why don't uh, you look into that and get back to us? But I'm sure, absolutely. Something I, we're I mean, concerned about. Uh, understood. Um, okay. Okay, how was my motion? I'm kind of uh, lost there. You're, look, you're looking pretty good. <laughs> okay, so I think you can second it. Is there anything else? Okay. No. Okay. Did so you guys you get understand it? now? Better? Okay, so you're, you're coming back with good. landscaping, ground signs, uh, and the lighting signs. Is. And a, lighting. And some parking lot lighting. And we were okay on the uh, lighting on the building itself? Yes, the just, you're just eliminating its down lighting on the, the awnings. In the, in the landscape. In the landscape. Right. Going up. The right. Face. Okay. The okay. The uplighting. Right. Oh, I can see this. And, and, yeah. You know, maybe that uplighting you can put into your landscape plan since it'll sit in the landscape. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Do we hear a second on the motion? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very okay. much. Okay. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you. Thanks for coming we'll look in. Look forward to seeing you next month. Have a safe trip back to India. Thanks a lot. Watch out for the tornadoes. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Looks like Verizon Wireless Cellular Sales is not shown tonight, so I guess we'll have a continuation on that for next month. And next on the agenda is DRB 2012-30, the application of... Crepery. Thank Crepery you. Crepery Bechamel? Bechamel. 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 Crepery Bechamel. I've been waiting. I dropped the yes. ball on that. I practiced that, that this afternoon and I got oh. tongue tied and I couldn't it's come okay, through. Okay, as long as you it. eat there, you're fine. Okay. In Lane, we have everything but a crepery. Right. And now Wonderful. we will. Okay. Good. So we are on our way. All right, so this tell is us, a, Tell us a little bit. Hold, let me just yeah. finish. This yeah. is at 11 Luella Court in Wayne, the site of the old Johnny's Hot Dog. Yes. It falls within the Wayne Business Overlay District, so there's some different. Uh, some restrictions there. there. And you're looking for a freestanding sign and an awning sign. So, welcome. Thank How are you? you. Thanks. Your names? Jennifer. Uh, Patrick Yusaitis. Good to meet you. I'm sorry, what's your last name? Yusaitis. Yusaitis. So you, you have to tell us. everybody at home, you know, as I say, the three people who are watching, about this new business. Okay. Do you want to take the lead? Into the mic. <laughs> sure. Come on, this goes to Radnor Township. Everybody's watching. Everyone now. watches. <laughs> All 30,000 residents are home Radnor waiting Radnor to find out what is going in there. Sure, thanks a lot. Does it really? yes, it no does. pressure, but no. I didn't know that. Well, uh, me and my wife, Jennifer, uh, want to open this uh, crepery, which uh, it's a restaurant, a fast casual restaurant, where you can come in and quickly get a meal. Um, we're going to make the crepes in front of people. We have an open kitchen. It's the existing kitchen that's at uh, the Johnny's Doghouse. Uh, we're just putting in some different equipment. Um, so you could come in and have us make a sweet or savory crepe. Uh, my wife, Jennifer, graduated from the restaurant school, and she's a pastry chef. So All right. um, she's in charge of the food. Oh, great. Is this your first uh, endeavor? First yes. Time? Oh, good. Is this a one-off? Is there somebody else who's doing it? Is this your own? No, it's just us. Holy us. smokes. Heart there was soul. a crepe restaurant <laughs> in Bryn Mawr for a while, a long time ago, like 20 years ago, and that was the end of it. There so. used to be a place. It was a, there was a chain called La Creperie. Yeah, it was called La Yeah, Creperie. so I don't know what happened to that, but I liked it, so. Yeah, we love crepes, and we love fresh food and fresh ingredients, and mm -hmm. there's not a lot of stuff. So you like do that dinner around. crepes, so. and then you do dessert crepes, too. Yes, okay, and we'll good. have baked goods as well. And yeah. how are you going to, I know this is not really our purview or anything, but what's the seating going to be like? Are you going to keep the counter, or what? We, uh, we're actually, oh, I'm sorry. I was just going to say, we're just going to have uh, cafe tables. Um, so there should be just uh, about seven cafe tables in mm -hmm. there. So there's room for, um, well, we have seating, I think, for 14. 
in there. And then uh, we also had submitted plans for some outdoor seating. Mm -hmm. too. I don't know if you guys got those as well. We're going to yeah, talk that. about that yep. next. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we were hoping to get some outdoor seating as well so people could sit outside. And when yeah. do you hope to open? Mid-May. All right. The BYO, the BYO, can we? Oh. We think that we'll move to the, we're, we don't, we're not going to open as a BYOB, but we'll move to that eventually. Mm -hmm. Is that a, uh, what's the approval for B, I mean, can anybody just do BYO or do you need a? I honestly, the settings don't know. <laughs> We've been that yeah, I read all the codes that I could and I didn't see anything about yeah. it, so I don't know. <laughs> We've been told that there's really nothing. Right. I, I, I mean, yeah. we'll check, of course. The yeah. laws allow it, you know. Yeah. Do you want to use the handheld? Just sure. to make sure everybody can hear at home. Thank you. Okay, you bet. All right. God, I like crepes. Okay, so mm -hmm. we're looking at a freestanding sign mm -hmm. on the existing pole. And I know that pole was put up when Johnny started in business, I'm going to say six, seven years ago, maybe? Yeah. I was not on the board, so I okay. was, yeah. Okay, yeah, that came before us. And uh, Tony, I don't know if you remember that or not. Yeah, I do. Okay. We actually, um, we have some changes to from what we originally submitted as far as the awning color and the sign. Okay. So I have that here. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Would you like to start on the awning or like to start on the pole? Bechamel is a sauce, right? Yeah. Bechamel, yes. Mm -hmm. One of the French mother sauces. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want to start with the awning or rather sure. start with the uh, pole sign? It's your call. Uh, we could start with the awning. We okay. actually have our sunbrella book here. All right. Sorry. Um, I could just bring it up to you if that's okay. You can probably just hold it up. We're pretty used oh. to sunbrella, aren't we? <laughs> it's black and white striped. <laughs> oh, okay. Black and white striped. Hmm. Nice. Okay, so that kind of looks black and, and gray. Am I looking it at looks I think it's that way. It's called black and white striped. It's obviously not up yet. So we're hoping it's a little more white than it looks here. It, it looks good like that, too. So yes. it probably won't make a big. All right. So you're going to go with black and white stripe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Existing framework. Nothing's going to change that right. way. Same size and all. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. And the bottom panel will be black. Mm -hmm. um, and then we actually weren't sure whether the address could be on the side. Definitely. Or it had to be in the front. So oh, on the, the that side, side the return on the return. Yes. You can do both if you want. We did we had a discussion about that with an eyeglass place in Wayne about yeah. whether he could put anything on the side yeah. panel, and I don't. No, I think we we you had. could just okay. do your yeah. Yeah, years ago so we had. Uh, you're just gonna put your place your too. number on there. We're, I would like yeah. to put eleven Luella Court if we could do it on the side. Yeah. Do you want to write Luella Court on there also? Yes. On the drop. Yes. Wow, do you have room? Yeah. Or, we, I mean, we could just yeah. do 11, either Yeah, if you, I think if you can fit 11 Luella Court, it's your address. You, yeah. you know, yes, okay. right? Yeah, I agree. I think yeah. it's, you know. Just if you have room for it. Yeah, as opposed to having it on the front, like the sign guy yeah. did in this picture. Mm -hmm. um, and we also do, we have crepery bechamel uh, flush to the right as, as opposed to centered. Mm -hmm. And we weren't sure if it had to be centered. Oh, I'm sorry. You must have turned Thank away. you. Okay. <laughs> Can you hear me better now? <laughs> it doesn't. To, it doesn't have, have to be centered. Door, so. I'm sorry. We wanted to have the name over the door. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. It does not have to be centered. Great. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And you're familiar. The letters can't be any higher than eight inches. Yes. Okay. Okay. And actually, it'll be white lettering. Yes. Okay. It'll be white lettering. The only color that would be on the sign is there's like a bluish purple accent over the E right. in bechamel. Right. And that would be on that. Uh, that design that we have there. Okay. Now, do you want to leave the 11 on the front also, or you just want to put it on the side? We would prefer to put it on the side okay. if that's I'm, okay. Yeah, that's okay, right? We just agreed to that. Just yeah. didn't know if you're. Yeah. And, and again, you've probably heard from previous applications. Uh, it looks like you have it on the foyer and it, on the door there. Yes. So we've got it marked in two locations. So I right. think you're going to be fine for mm -hmm. emergency situations. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, good. So you guys are all right with the awning? Yes. Tony? Uh, I am, but I'm a little nervous about that seven feet at the bottom of the awning. Is that, um, what is that? Connection? It's a tough, you know, it's a, it's a tough spot because that, it's on such a, a slow grade. I think it's fine. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank right. you. It worked for Johnny's, <laughs> yeah. and we, we did approve that. That's so. fine. Okay. okay. Good. 
All right. So the poll sign? So the poll sign? The poll sign, um, we actually, my husband um, sanded the whole pole and we primed it today. And it'll be painted, so it'll look absolutely stunning. <laughs> Fabulous. Uh, black, of course. And we actually, this page here is what we received from Dom Mercury, the sign guy. But it's, the font is different. This is how it'll be. Okay. Okay. This is correct. Which and this, of course, shows the purple accent. That's exactly how it'll look. Mm. Can you use Johnny's and just reface it? Yes. Good. That's what we're doing. That's yeah. good. And we just wanted to also be sure on the rectangle portion underneath mm -hmm. that we could put sweet and savory crepes because that's very, very important. It's part of our logo. Yeah. Okay. You can, right? Yeah. 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 Definitely. Um, Do we permit web, web address? Yes. Yes. You can put your web address, and you and you, but we don't want your sign to swing. It has to be fixed, right. which I think it already is. Right? Yeah. Yes. It currently has yeah. phone number. You can put your phone number, you can put your web address. A reservation, if you mm -hmm. do reservation. Yeah. Or put it in your window or something. Hey, maybe. You've got to 14 a seats, yeah. Yeah, we could, I mean, it looks, on this sheet, it looks, there's a lot of room to put things, but we kind of like that it's very simple and mm -hmm. we feel like it's striking and you could see it from Lancaster Avenue. Yeah, that's it is. A big thing, that's yeah. a good thing. Yeah. So we just want it to be simple. And as far as on the window, in the bot, if you're facing the crepery in the bottom right hand corner, we just wanted to put a very small logo. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it. No web address? I don't think so. We could always add that. You later. can add it later. Yeah. Because yeah. you, you have the, the right to put cover 15% of your window there, right? 20%. In the, in the Wayne Business I'm District? I'm pretty sure it's 20. Okay. Yeah. Um, so anyway, you can do something, you know, when you decide you want yeah. to. You don't have to come back to us. Possibly on the bottom. We love, Johnny's Doghouse had so much on that window, and it was just so can see cluttered. And we right. love, like, that we took it all down. And we love, it's beautiful when it's just, like, very open. It gets a lot of sunlight. Mm -hmm. It's a nice it's like spot. A French brasserie. Yes. There we go. Good. <laughs> yeah. I guess Good. Cool. The one thing that scares me a little bit, Tony, you're an architect. Just the was. way that's going to be fabricated, the new sign on the old panel. Well, you see, see double face tape mentioned in glue and all. Add two, um, double edged tape. Yeah, I don't have any problem with that. Okay. I mean, if it doesn't hold up, you'll just redo it. That's all. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so the, the height from grade is okay and the square footage is okay. So uh, we're good to go with that. Address number we're good with. Window signage. Now, if you were here That's earlier, good. we talked about sandwich boards. Yes. You're not allowed to have them. Okay, all right. <laughs> Thank okay. you. All right. That's going to be my legacy, isn't it? I know. <laughs> I'm <laughs> just going to tell you everybody has one. But yeah. But when Bob comes by, <laughs> you want to get that off the street. Right. No, I'm teasing Bob. It's, you know, it's in the code, and we do right. try to reinforce that. We don't plan on having any, so. <laughs> okay. All right. What else, Tyne? That's about it. Okay, Cindy. That's it. Any questions for us? No, not about okay. that. No. All right, so why don't we make a motion for Let's approval, motion, and you guys yeah. are going to be right back on with your uh, outside dining. So. Okay. Oh, right. Okay, so in the matter of DRB, I just jumped in there. Do you want to make the motion, Tony? Uh, no, I don't have that sheet. Oh, oh, yeah, I guess I do. It's on the back of that one. Why don't you go ahead, Cindy? All right. In the matter of, um, that's interesting, because this one just, it's just, oh, did, oh no, here we go. pardon me. DRB 2012-30, Crepery Bechamel. At 11 Luella Court, I move that we accept the poll sign and the awning as submitted. Thank you. Okay, do we hear a second? Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Yay. And next now on you the have agenda. To turn around and come back. <laughs> <laughs> Go sit down. Okay. Next on the agenda and last on the agenda tonight is OD, Outside Dining, 2012-01, the application at Craig Bear, Burham. I'm going to practice that. 11 Luella Court and Wayne. For your outside dining, and again, you're in the Wayne Business Overlay District. This is our first application for outside dining this year, so um, so we're going to kind of run through some of the guidelines too. Okay, so you'll be familiar with it and uh, kind of lay the great groundwork down for outside dining for this season. First, has the has the um, the health department said okay for the outside dining? Yeah. Um, 
Not really. No. We don't really understand. Uh, Doug had, he had the uh, outside dining. so He, he already, yeah, the Johnny's okay. Doghouse already was approved for outside dining. Well, oh, was he? Okay. Yeah. You know, new we, application. Right, so the new application. The new application. But my only point yeah. is, you remember that we approved um, a restaurant for outside dining, and they didn't, they were lacking in some of the requirements, so the Board of Health said no. Do you, do you, are you familiar with that, Bill? Yeah, not not the particular one, but I did speak to our health officer about that, and they will need to speak to him concerning their application. Okay, so they, we can pass it according okay. to our, you know, our restrictions, but you have to make sure that you get it past them because okay. that was kind of an unfortunate situation you where no one knew. Do interior toilet facilities? Yes. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Well, then, are they handicapped? Yeah, there are some other yeah. issues that, that, yeah. that was at, at the present one that, that our health officer has some concerns about. So before you leave tonight, I'll give you his business card. You can give him a call. Okay. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, we did speak to Kevin about the bathroom. Who's Kevin? Um, the zoning. Zoning? Our okay. director. Yes. Oh, director okay. Oh, right, right. Kevin Pardon Kuchansky. me. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's your capacity inside with your table? If they're seating for 14 people. 14. Yes. Well, they currently have an approval for 14. I mean, it looks like you could fit more in, but. Yeah. Maybe you're seating. Or will it, why don't we approve what we can approve, okay. and then you you just know. I wouldn't want you to you know invest in something and find out you can't do it. Right. So, so first off, too, just to let you know, the hours of operation outside dining are April 1st to September 30th, okay. 11 o'clock in the morning till 10 at night. Okay. All right. So that's that's kind of the parameters. We hope you'll stick within that. Mm -hmm. Which and, I know uh, is under discussion right now. Yes. Yeah. Fortunately. Right. So our understanding, I think Bill's will tell you that that uh, mm -hmm. outside dining is all right under review okay so but we're going to go with what we have for right now great so tell us about it our job is to approve the umbrellas the tables the chairs the, the materials you're going to use okay. outside so why don't you tell us a little bit about the type of tables and chairs and stuff okay well the uh the tables that we wanted to use um were the uh round i guess they're called bistro tables and I think that you guys should have the uh, the tables there. I, I hope they're the 36 inch. These, we got it. Right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The material on that, it's I couldn't really. Is it a, is it a metal or is it? A, the they're aluminum tables, I believe. That they're black powder coat. They are aluminum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that is one of the acceptable materials. You can mm -hmm. use uh, cast iron, wrought iron, wrought iron. Excuse me, steel, uh, aluminum, wood. You can't use plastic. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you feel they're aluminum. Yeah. Oh, they are. Okay. Yeah. Good. My husband has read the entire code. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You know what? Do you live in Radnor? You could be on the board. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's the table, aluminum tables. And you want to... Is that the umbrella down below on the same page? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's the umbrella. I think we, we gave you a fabric because we weren't sure about our awning color when we... Mm -hmm. um, had, had turned that in, but I, I, the, uh, the, uh, the fabric for the umbrella would, would match the awning. It'll be the black? or Yeah. yeah. yeah it would so be you black. gave us everything here. Here are the tables. Okay. They're cool. So oh, I see. They, that, that's yeah. neat. You have it. I did know you had that dining area, the outside dining yeah. area on the side. Mm -hmm. That's terrific. It's tight, though. It's a little it's tight. So nice. you, yeah. I'm sure you've looked it over carefully. You'll be able yes. to figure it out. And right. then these are cool chairs. They'll be stable there, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah. There's just dirt down there, I think. And yes. He had picnic tables. So. Well, he had a mulch, I think. Was, oh, did he have mulch? Down there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So no advertising on the umbrellas? No. Right. Just umbrella, solid black. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, minimum height is six feet, eight inches uh, from grade, and these are like mm -hmm. seven and a half, so you're okay there with the height requirement. Right. Mm -hmm. I guess they don't want them low, so people would bump their heads on them. So, yeah. so you're fine that way. And, uh, and they anchor through the table. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then in the winter time, they have to be brought in and stored inside or mm -hmm. at a remote site. You can't leave them out all winter. Not right. that you want to anyway. So yeah, we've got room for them in the basement. Okay, mm -hmm. good, good. Oh, cool. What do you do? What are you going to do about the surface where you're going to put the table and chairs? Um, you got uh, a plan? We're going to put the tables and chairs. We had originally submitted it with the mulch because uh, that's what he currently have, mm -hmm. or he currently has. Um, but we wanted to use uh, like the not pavers, what is it called, uh, like landscaping stone. It, it's kind of, uh, you know, the, the, the smaller stone. Is it loose? Red. Loose? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, like landscape gravel kind of thing? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, like pea gravel or something like that? Similar Actually, to that. What What's it. there now? Mulch. Grass. And oh, it's yeah. It's a soft it's, surface. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's a soft surface. So Before you spend any money, you know, talk to Larry. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay, just to make sure. Everybody really likes to see outdoor dining. It's just there's, there are all these rules. 
Okay. I like it. All right. You pro both of you probably don't know, but I'll give you a historical perspective. The reason why Wayne never had outdoor dining is because one of the commissioners back in the 50s saw a movie where they had girls on roller skates serving people in cars. And he said, well, we're never going to have that in Wayne. Who wouldn't love that? <laughs> what? Did he never see Happy Days? I know. <laughs> so oh. he said, we're never going to have that in Wayne. And so it became a wide restriction against any kind of outdoor dining. Mm -hmm. And that was revived, what, some five years ago, maybe four years is that ago? Re oh, revised? Four or oh, five yeah. years ago, there was right. no More. outdoor dining. Mm -hmm. And it really is so pleasant. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's so nice to see everybody outside. And I like to see it spraying. But anyway, so I yeah, like. No girls on roller skates. <laughs> Matter of fact, just a little bit of history, too. I think that sounds when pretty Gino's good. Gino's was in Wayne, which okay. is how Cozy's used to be signs posted in the parking lot, no eating in cars. Oh, like people would get their Gino's right. hamburger. Couldn't, you couldn't eat it in. That's even, right. Even, even couldn't even eat in your car. Yeah. It so really if you ever, is a great space. I mean, there's there's a good bit of room there, and it there goes is, pretty far there? back. Yeah. It's just it's it could be stunning if we just we'll talk to Larry. Yeah, we'll talk right. to Larry. Okay. Um, so I like it. Okay. I like it. All right. So for um, I'm on tonight. In the matter of um, outdoor dining 2012-01, Creperie Bechamel, 11 Luella Court, I move that we accept the plan as submitted for the um, chairs, tables, and awnings um, with the caveat that you must go before the Board of Health and talk to Larry before proceeding. Okay. Okay. Do we hear a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You have to find some way to secure those at night, too, so they don't, get, they don't oh. disappear. Right. You know what they do? A lot, a number, they chain them up. Or? Number of places chain them up. They just put chains. I mean, mm -hmm. it's it's not attractive, but taking them in is, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen chains at a few places. Okay. We could do that. Yeah. They'll Thank be in you. some yes. college dorm room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just chain them. Okay. Um, I don't think the pub like. and, oh. The other places on, on North Wayne, most of them don't, you know, like Christopher's in the pub, they don't think right. they have a big issue with things being disappearing. But okay. you're kind of tucked back in there, so. Yeah, we, we would do that. Would Larry be the one that would tell that would approve how many people we could seat for outdoor dining? Would that yeah, that would be, yes. be yeah okay. it, between Larry and, and our zoning officer Kevin mm -hmm. Kachansky. Okay, great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lots of luck to you. Thank you so right, much. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you. We'll be there on opening day. We hope, hope so. so. <laughs> so excited. It'll be fantastic. I'm sorry. When did you finish it? I just graduated in um, March. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At Christmas, my niece made crazy. We're not on TV anymore, are we? Yeah, I think we still are. I think we still are. Well, your mic's off anyway, so. Yeah, mine's off. Yeah, like 36 hours later, we, we all ate them. But I think she said, good. It's just, you know, it's put one up there. She made the puzzle. Oh, okay. She said, it's really not my friend that I made the puzzle. I'm like, no, she doesn't. Unless you've been to the restaurants. Right. Did you kill it? Oh, yeah, kill it. Kill it? Yeah. We're done.